Welcome to the Morning Bear Podcast. I'm your host, Derek, the nice guy, Rivera. You know what I'm saying? I hope everything's going good in your neck of the woods. It's going pretty good in the neck of my neck of the woods. I mean, I'm actually out here in the woods now. I'm actually out here in the woods. I'm, I am out here in the middle of nowhere in the woods. Kingsland, Texas, a disclosed location in Kingsland, Texas. I can't tell you exactly where I'm at because I can't tell you how to get here. Okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm... Can't record my RV. Why can't you record your RV? I thought you were going to have an RV, Derek. I thought you were going to have an RV. Well, guess what happened? I got ripped off. My family, that's on drugs. They're all on drugs. You know, everybody has, like, most families have, like, one family member that's on drugs. I have, like, fucking half of them. They're all on fucking drugs. Smoking rocks. They like to try to play people like me that don't smoke rocks. I don't smoke rocks. They try to play me. <laughs> Let's try to sucker the guy that don't fucking smoke rocks. Let's try to take the guy that don't smoke fucking meth and fucking make his life miserable. Because, because in our family, that's what we do. I hate my dad's side of the family. I don't know. I love him, I guess. I mean, I, I like him. But well, what I'm saying is, it's like, mm, you know, like, I, like when I got the RV, he's like, I'm going to do all this work to it, blah, blah, blah. And we went to go get the RV, and they got it here. And I walked in the RV, I said, nothing was done. You would think since I gave you a hundred dollar advance, sir. You would got enough meth to get the shit done. But you didn't, sir. You didn't get nothing done. What what, you, what is the use of smoking shit if you don't get nothing done? I thought that shit, I thought that shit makes you get shit done. Wrong. Wrong. Apparently not. It don't Sir. This is a public announcement to all the fucking meth heads in my family. You can't just try to rip me off. I'm a superstar. Okay? I'm a bad motherfucker. I might be sitting in, in my old bedroom where I used to jerk off all the time. Okay, this is this is my teenage bedroom where I used to just fucking... If you turn a black light in here, there's going to be fucking a lot of glow going on. That's all I'm saying. I got my, my dad's fishing poles back here. I got his golfing set and this thing. I don't know what the fuck that even is. Okay. But anyway, that's how we got to record now. Because one of my cousins likes to smoke the glass dick. So here I am. And, and I try to be trustworthy. Now I got to do a lot more work. I got to pay a lot more money. Now a lot more money has to come out of my pocket. If they... <laughs> Fuck it. Uh... Let's fuck up. Like, is that every drug addict's fucking just, just thought, trying to thought? Let's fuck over the people that don't do drugs. Let's fuck over the guy that's clean. Let's fuck over that guy. Let's fuck over the guy that don't do drugs. Because why the fuck not? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because that's what they fucking do. They're stupid as fuck. So it's like, it's like you know what, bro? Okay. I let it slide. I let it go. I was trying to be nice. I wasn't trying to be no hoe. I was trying to be that nice guy. And I was trying to give this dude the benefit of the doubt. And I gave him an extra hundred dollars. I'm like, hey, maybe I give him some hundred dollars. He gets he gets high on meth and he cleans this bitch up. He comes in there and fucking just does his fucking meth it's spectacular. But you I've seen meth. I lived out here a long time, dude, before I moved to Colleen, and I've seen meth heads take cars apart in less than 15 minutes. You think if you're gonna make a profit to buy more drugs, you would want to have something a little nice to sell to somebody so you can buy more drugs. So there won't be no complaints out there, but you know what? I ain't talking to this person no more. It's cool. You're not in my you're not in my will, but then he's like, there's no title to this trailer. Wow. Smoking drugs. Drugs. And then half the half the fucking people I went to school with are all on meth too. Let's not forget the half the people I went to school with are also on meth as well. You know what I'm saying? They're Walking up down the fucking street and shit. And you got fucking 1,500 people walking up down these fucking streets looking like fucking zombies. I look like I'm in the fucking apocalypse from the love of Christ. And then, you know, I feel like I'm on the walking dead. But then you, then you, they come up to you and act like they're better than you. They're better than you. They're like, you got a podcast? <laughs> like, you're on meth. You're on meth. I really have a podcast that's about meth. Yes, there is. So, well, well, not me. Not me. Not me, man. 
I'm on fucking drugs. We know. We know. Like, and people in my generation have tried to be gangsters so fucking long that they think methamphetamines makes them gangsters. And see, I, that's a dream I used to want to be too. When I, was, when I was a kid, when I was sleeping in this room, I thought I was gangster too. I ain't gonna lie. I smoked weed. I chilled. I thought I was gangster. I break into your motherfucking house. Now I'm here. I'm a grown man. But it seems like people my age still have not let go of that dream of being gangster. Now, being a gangster means that you smoke meth. <laughs> I'm gangster. Yeah. But you're dying. I'm gonna be fat. But at least I'm not on meth. Okay? I'm not doing a podcast that no one hardly listens to. At least I'm not on meth. Hey, hey. And everybody's like, it's so sad. It's so sad. That's what's wrong with them. You were feeling sorry for these fucks. Fucking fuck up my goddamn RV. And, uh, you know, I know that fucking dream of being a gangster now. I'm a gangster. Ooh, I'm, ooh, I'm fucking fresh. But you're a loser. That's the difference between me and you. I'm a winner. You're a loser. So get the fuck over yourself. And I'm going to tell you this, man. I'm pissed off. I feel humiliated. And then I see people like this in school. And like, literally, well, the meth makes me gangster. No, it doesn't. The meth makes you a fucking retard. You're a gangster. I'm a gangster. I'm a top G bad motherfucker. And you're a loser. There's a difference. But that's what that's what they they think. They're like, man, meth makes me gangster. And they act like they're better than you. Like you see them around town and they act like they're better than you. Have you ever seen someone act like they're fucking better than you around fucking town? They're not better than you. They're fucking wannabes and they're losers, dude. I mean straight up. Fucking loser son of a bitch, man. Kiss my ass, dude. Psst. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, half this fucking city that I went to school with, you know, and I see these people every day, man, and now they're finally living their dreams after being a gangster, and I'm proud of every one of them. Smoke another meth rock. Smoke two for me. Smoke two. Smoke two, man. Melt that shit down and smoke it up. <sighs> Because at the end of the day, man, it's hot as fuck in this room. I mean, because that's the only place you can really record because there's no noise. My old jack-off room. Okay? I used to sleep in here. I used to beat my dick in here. You know how it was when you were a teenager, beating your dick head, or in corners. Trying to stand it up, trying to land it down. Trying it in the closet over there. Found a lot of weird shit in the closet, too. I found my old yearbook. Oh, this is disgusting. I mean, you find the old yearbook, you see them before meth, and you're like, oh, <laughs> this is nice. This is cool, man. It's fucking cool, bro. Oh, man. And I'll tell you what, dude. I mean, it, it's just something that happens, man. And, you know, I know in every town they have them, but hey. Kingsland, Texas knows how to party. Kingsland, Texas knows how to party in the city. A Central Texas in the city. A Central Texas. I mean, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make that a song. I swear to God, I'm gonna make that a song. I'm gonna film these fucking crackheads walking down the fucking road on it. You know what I'm saying? I think someone's here to see me. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm coming. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be right back, guys, and um, have a good day. I will be back later for the podcast. I guess. All right. Looks like I'm back. I'm back. Uh, I actually had left for a little bit. Uh, I went with my buddy Skylar Harp actually um, to go, you know, saying sit sit at the gym, uh, triple threat, and to kind of see what's up, you know, saying see if I wanted to join or not. And I, I'm sold. I, I want to be in. I want to be part of this. This is fucking dope. I don't know how. Like, I don't know how. I don't know how I never thought of this before, man. But uh, man, just great people, great time. Um, like some of the greatest people, cool ass people I've met today. Uh, chill as fuck. And I think that's one thing I like about it is everybody was chill as fuck. There wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was badass, there were bad motherfuckers there, but they didn't, like, put it in your face, you know? And that's one reason why I liked about going to, like, a lot of his uh, tournaments and stuff like that, too, is because a lot of people were cool as fuck there, and I've always been 
that I respect the art. And now it's time, you know, so your boy's about to start learning. So, and you know, just for hobby purposes only for me, of course, you know, you know me, I'm, I'm a comedian. Um, make it good to kind of keep in good shape and stuff like that. And like, uh, Jesse was there, this, uh, dude that, um, well, he's a bad motherfucker too. And I'm, I'm hoping to have him on the podcast pretty soon in the future. But, um, he was there teaching and man, bro. So that shit was dope as fuck, man. I can't describe how, dope, um, just how dope a lot of it was, man. Um, it's definitely one of the experiences that you got to be there to enjoy it. Um, I enjoyed it just because, I mean, something new. And also, it's just people were so welcoming and so cool, man. It's people were so fucking cool. They were real at the same time. Like, you, know, you can tell, like, people were real as fuck. And it, they, had, they had their own ways. And they just, they can ask, bro. Just, it, it, I, can't, I can't wait. You know, so that's one thing I really can't wait about. I can't wait to tell. I can get out there and learn something. And I know it's going to take a while. Like Scott told me, the biggest thing is just stepping in that front door. And I mean, I ain't going to lie, I was, I was nervous even about going to watch today. I'm nervous still about getting on the mat. But I think, you know, that's a new new chapter for me. It's going to be fucking dope as fuck, man. I, I don't know, just fucking, man. What shit ever, dude. Fucking, man. I'm. Like, you know, it, it just feels so good to actually, you know, see something positive and something great and something cool, you know, so not my son, <laughs> uh, you know, just stuff like that. It just, it just, it feels great to see all that stuff, man. And I, I don't know, man, just, I feel like this is something that I should learn, man. I really do. And it's going to help me get in better shape. It's going to help me, you know, be able to take care of myself better. I really got to start dieting too. It's another thing. It's the hardest thing in the world. And guys, sorry about the last, you know, the first part of the podcast where I'm just screaming about <laughs> just all the drug addicts in my hometown and all the drug addicts out here and all the drug addicts, you know, in my family, you know, saying they think they're gangster. But, you know, it's just what it is. But there's still a lot of upsides of being out here, too, and such as, you know, starting to go to the gym and stuff like that. I think that's one of the best upsides ever, man. It gives you something that I kind of look forward to and enjoy my life. And it's I just got back from that and I was like oh. I'm like dude you're going to be able to do that someday ah. and I have a lot of doubts with myself it's just me I've always been that kind of person I have a lot of doubts with myself ah, it's just I just don't see myself getting that bad ass at the same time so I think I can do it I think I can, I can I can go there at least and learn something from it. I, really, I really just want to man I wanted to kind of try it today I wanted to hey can I get over there and try but I know you know what I'm saying I didn't. I didn't want to like you know be you know. I don't know. I just didn't want to embarrass myself. I guess, but at the same time, I was like, man, it was cool as fuck, you know. And I could tell my buddy Skyler, he's been on medical leave. He's ready to jump in there too, and you can tell. I can see why they love jujitsu so much, man. Because it just seems like a cool sport, man. Something, something cool, and it's not like you know, it's not something lame. Plus, I, you know, I saw a dude, another dude there that I, I used to work with. Uh, Lee, he was cool as fuck, man. Even back when we used to work together, humble, good fucking dude. And it's like all these dudes you meet there, like, like they're one of their, the black belt. Dude's a fucking bad motherfucker, dude. But he was so fucking cool, man. Like, it's just, it shook your hand and shit, and, you know, just easily just wrapping to a pretzel. But, you know, they just come in and be cool as fuck. Like, you know, like Jesse, for instance, man. I, I met him through Facebook, but it's just like, I met him in person and said, fucking nice ass dude. This he's some good ass people, man. Like and they they're, they're bad. Like bad motherfuckers, like, you know. But like when when you meet them, it's like that's a good ass person, man. Like it, it to me I like that. Like that's one thing I really enjoyed about going today is because like I've never really a bunch of good people in there. I mean they could easily fucking just bullied me and fucking rap me into a pretzel and threw me in the trash. But they did it. They were like how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you you doing? Mm-hmm. And I didn't know what to say. I was like, I was just looking around all the time. Like, this is the fucking most amazing thing ever. Just, me, I can't. You know, you know, I'm an awkward stuff. Can't ever keep eye contact anyway. You know, it's like so. This is something really positive. I think in my life, because I think one of the things about coming back to this town was just like 
I don't want to come back, bro. I don't want to die, man. Like, I'd rather just stay in, over there and be homeless. But then I'll say, this this gives me a new hope. The join this gym gives me new hope. It's going to be fucking amazing as well, dude. And I, that's one thing I need. I need something fun in my life. I, think, I found it, man. And I don't know. If, I'm not going to be saying great, but I'm going to say, Tom, like, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be hanging out with homies and stuff and just learning some new stuff, dude. That's, that's what life is about, too. Like, every chapter of your life, you got to learn something new. Mm-hmm. Every chapter. No one, the chapter when I first moved to Colleen, I learned how to look at the brighter side of life. I learned how to think about um, how I learned how to smile through the fucking pain when I moved to Colleen. And because before I moved to Colleen, I was very negative. Very, I was uh, an addict. I was um, I was just a bad person, and I was someone people didn't want to be around. I didn't care about myself. I didn't care about anybody else. I was about 360, 370 pounds. Um, I'm not saying I'm small now because I'm not, but you know, it's just like in every chapter I learn something new, and I think this new, this next chapter, is gonna be like no matter what, even if I am back in, you know. And I know earlier I was kind of on a rant about that because I just, oh man, I was so mad. Every time I think about that RV, but at the same time, I'm, saying, I'm glad he did that because now I'm gonna fix that RV up, and he's gonna be like, oh, I want it back. <laughs> Nah, you ain't getting it bad, bro. It's gonna be a thousand. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fix it up. It's gonna be fucking fun, man. Anyway, uh, we're back at the show. We're back, and I'm just glad I got to go to the triple threat and fucking it, man, for a little bit. And I can't wait to get on the mat, and I can't wait to start learning, bro. Like, man, like, I, and I know it's a white belt. I'm gonna I'm gonna get slammed, but at the same time, it looks like it's gonna be fun, bro. Like, I mean, dude, the arm bar, the arm bars they were showing today, <laughs> that shit looked painful, but it kind it kind of looks cool to learn, you know. And you know, and I know I ain't gonna use it on anybody, and you know, I, I say I ain't gonna get no fights because I, I definitely won't. You know, I went years without getting to a fight. My last fight, I got into was because somebody was actually trying to hurt me. And I always try to talk my way out of the fight. You know, I'm always going to be like that the rest of my life. I'll be uh, like, come on, guys, let's have a drink. Let's we'll sit down and talk. But now, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I think it's going to be, it's just going to be fucking fun, man. Just like, like, you know, just, just learn something new, bro. Like, like that's one thing you got to learn about life. You got to learn something new for once. I think, I think every chapter in your life, you learn something new. Every time, and then before you know it, like by the time you get old and you're old and decrypted, your dick don't work no more. You are gonna be like, yeah, but at least I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can teach you this. I can, you know, what I'm saying like, like I'm always putting myself on being wise because I've always sat back and observed, and I think this is um pretty badass chapter for mine. You know, what I'm saying because I've always been a good observer. I've always been like a maybe not a person. I just watch. And, uh, but then. I love these glasses, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, they look like, like 80s cocaine glasses. I don't do that shit. Shit's stupid. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's hard to fucking see the paper down that I wrote with my notes on. <laughs> Ooh, see? My eyes are good. I just, I just like these because they're outrageous and they're weird, man. But I, I really do. Today's been a great day. And I can't wait to learn more. And I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to find the papers. I can't wait to get started. I cannot work. Because, <laughs> man. Man, y'all going to see a different me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see a different me. You know what I'm saying? And I think I think that's what uh, I'm, I'm ready for. I'm ready for a different me. I'm ready for a new me. I'm ready for a good time. And I'm just, I'm just ready to have fun, bro. You know? That's it. Let's enjoy life, man. Let's enjoy life. Let's be around good people, too. Cause like I've been that gym, man. It's just like one thing. I was just like, I don't relax. Usually I'm like I'm nervous everywhere I go. Now nah, I'm always still looking around. I'm always looking for a good exit plan in case police or someone jumps. Like, today I was more relaxed, and I haven't been that relaxed in a new place in a long time. And a lot of places I'm I'm not relaxed at all. Everybody knows me knows I'm I'm very nervous. I'm very on edge. I'm looking around. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for something to pop off. And it's been like that most of my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's always been something around you. Like, fuck, fuck, pop off. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't have to be like that today. Today was chill. Today was nice. I, I loved it, man. 
I love the vibe, and I felt like I belonged, and I can't wait to can't wait to be part of it, man. It's gonna be fucking cool. But I don't know. I can't. I just can't wait. I'm mean, pretty excited about this. Actually, <laughs> pretty excited. I really need, I need to start working on my diet. That's that's one thing, guys. I really need to focus on. I just love it. I had a beer in the first part of the podcast. Um, the only one I had today. I don't drink like I used to. Yeah, man, we're, we're moving on. Moving on. Moving on through the podcast studio. We will have a new studio soon. I promise y'all that. Okay. Oh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh, the new Britney Spears documentary. Y'all hear about this? Y'all see that crazy bitch jumping around everywhere? I mean, you see seen it on Instagram and stuff like that. I was dancing half naked, little sparkles under her eyes. I mean, she looked like she looked like one of these fucking meth heads out here, bro. And it's like it's kind of sad. I mean, it's 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 kind of. It's kind of sad, guys, because now I'm kind of thinking maybe her dad should have kept it with her. This shit. I mean, I'm not, I'm not look, 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 ladies, before you attack me, before you fucking throw me out in the streets, before you, you see me walking down the road and fucking shoot at me when I'm walking my dog in the morning. Like, you gotta think of it this way, dude. That bitch has lost her fucking mind. I mean, there's no way fans and buzz about it, but she's coming out with a, they're coming out with a new documentary, which I think will be freaking cool. I think they need to expose this. Expose Disney. Let's expose them. Come on. Let's expose Disney. I mean, like, because of one fucking thing is, is like, <laughs> do you notice all these kids coming from Disney be fucked up, bro? Like, Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, uh, the boy's not that fucked up. The boys are kind of like, look, they put a finger in my butt, but I, I had to do what I had to do, son. I was going to be rich and famous. You know, so you just see Justin Timberlake crying about putting a finger in his butt. All I'm saying is, I don't know if they're really doing that there, but it just seems like they're doing something fucked up there at Disney. My stepdad has said, um, he has said, maybe she, she's a clone. And I, I can see that, them, clo- them cloning people over at Disney, Walt Disney World. I mean, it's, it's been some kind of age, um, ageless thing for a long time. But... I think there's something more sinister going on at Disney. I think Disney has a whole lot of things going on. We're, we're talking the sinisterest of the sinister. We're talking Macho Man Randy Savage sinister. No, no we're talking. There's these glasses remind me of like some 80s wrestler. Like, oh yeah. Fuck to a Slim Jim. Yeah. Okay, my bro. Okay, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no, no, like there's some sinister shit going on over at Disney, bro. I mean, look, and a lot of people are kind of pissed off about this documentary. Is she gonna start? Is she gonna get some shit away? We're really gonna see what really happened. Really going on in the Britney Spears lifestyle. What is really going on, Britney Spears? And I mean, no, for real though. Like, cause like that lady's fucked up. Not, you don't just become fucked up like that. You know, you ain't gonna, you don't become fucked up where you dance like a crackhead on this. You, you just don't do that, bro. There's there, there's something more sinister going on with this girl. So like, um. And she's like, they're all treating me bad. They're all treating me bad. And it's like, look, man. Yeah. Because they're, like, literally. Sunglasses are fucking huge, bro. But, like, they're literally, like, um. It's just insane to me, man. It's just insane to me, bro. It's really insane to me that, like, you know, like, like this, this hasn't been exposed. Like, Disney hasn't been exposed. And I was really hoping Britney Spears would be the one to expose it. I was really hoping Britney Spears would be the one to expose it. Like, just for what the fuck it really is. And um, I was really hoping she said, yeah, yeah, you know, they did this and this. But, oh, that explains why you're so crazy. That explains why Lindsay Lane was crazy. That explains why this one was crazy. 
And like, spent like that one was on porn or something. Like, I think one was on porn. Like one of the, one of the girls that was on like iCarly or something that was on porn. I think or something like that. I don't know what the fuck iCarly is. What the fuck am I talking about? I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about half the fucking time. That's with these fucking these shows with these kids, man. But they're all fucking weird, man. They're all kind of they're kind of fucked, bro. And you can tell by looking at these motherfuckers that their their eyes, it's like, you know, they're fucked, bro. They're fucked, man. Like, like, what is this animal doing? Standing in front of the door. I'm, I'm recording here, sir. You know, and it's like, dude, they're fucked, bro. It's like, they're, bro. Like, and Britney Spears is like, a, like, bro. She has darker circles in her eyes than I do. She looks miserable. She's out there, you know. And I talked about it in an earlier podcast, man. I really have. It's just because it disturbs me. I be scrolling on Instagram and I see this bitch, like literally, like I'm like, damn, Brittany, like, like she literally looks like she's crazy enough that if she, like, you left me and her alone in the room, we're fucking. Like I'm fucking Britney Spears. I, I bet I could because she's not right. She's not there. And I and my my top G mindset. I'm like I'm I'm right here. Most the normal person's right here. I'm about right here. Britney Spears is down here. So me and Brittany hanging out in the room together, let's get, get it on. Her husband better come running. We're going to lock that bedroom door. We're going to do our things. And I'm cream pie. Do my business. I'm laying it down. That's how I roll. Okay? That's more like, yeah, boy. I'm just kidding. Britney Spears says, I'm not going to ever sleep with him. Yeah, you, Britney Spears, you would sleep with me. You would. You want this. You want this hot boy summer. You want this hot boy summer? Girl, big sexy. All day long. On my hat. That's how I roll. All day. I didn't wear this inside the gym. I was like, I am not wearing that hat inside the gym. Everybody's going to be staring at me. I didn't want to cause attention. I mean, because, like, just the way I am anyway, I don't like causing tension. I mean, there's some days I can, but other days I can't, you know? And I look like a trucker. They went, yeah, but like, it's like, bro, Bruce Bear's tripping, bro. She's tripping. But so, and that, that's what I wonder, like, this documentary is going to piss a lot of people off, but I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping it comes out. I hope a lot of chicks exposed. Bruce Bear, she has nothing to lose, bro. She's like, she's like the pop star Garth Brooks, man. What are they gonna do? They gonna take her fans away? Bitch, we have more fans than anybody in the world. Bitch, bitch is literally like a female fucking Garth Brooks out in this son bitch, man. And you, come on, dude. You know, uh, you know, good goddamn good boy, both. You really do. You know, you know, get good goddamn good boy. That she will literally. She was still coming out from this, but I, I, I want to see this documentary. I want to see like what she, I, I hope she exposes some things. And I hope she kind of. I hope she kind of just flies off the. Like, like Britney, you can't say that. No, no, no. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse did this to me. Like, oh, Mickey Mouse did what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I won't do. And look, I don't condone any of that shit. But what I'm saying is, I want to. I want them to expose back in the day because we thought it was all holy. I want them to expose Disney World. I don't like Disney World. Fuck Disney World. Where am I gonna go? Ride a ride? Bitch, fuck you. I mean, I'd sell, my po- I'd sell my podcast to Disney in a heartbeat. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if Disney came up to me, bro, like, if Disney was like, bro, bro, you know what I'm saying? We, we want to buy your podcast. Like, you know, Disney presents the morning beer podcast. Right up. Like, I would I would sell it. And you know what? I'd let them put it up between me and you. Mickey Mouse, you can do what you want to me, bro. I mean, like, you know, I don't. I mean, look, I'm broke, dude. I need some money. No, I whooped the, I whooped the shit out of that goddamn mouse and tried to touch me. I really would. I'd beat the fuck, man. I'd beat the fuck out of Mickey Mouse, boy. Come on, man. This is Hot Boy Summer. That's what I'm calling this, Hot Boy Summer. You know, so I'm going to be, I'm going to straight be a badass this summer. It's jujitsu, it's, it's comedy, and it's fucking smoking cigars, and it's fat chick. That's how I fucking roll, boy. Like, you know, so that's how it's going to be all summer. I can't wait. Can't wait to have a good summer. You know. <laughs> I resent that. <laughs> resent all you want. Resent it all you want. 
Present me all you want. I'm the future. I feel like I'm old, man. But I just cannot wait till. I just can't wait till it comes out, man. Because I, re I really want to see what the fuck. Have you explode some things? Pretty sure it's got to explode something, bro. That girl's lost her fucking mind, bro. She's got to at least come out there and fucking shit with titties flopping. Oh, I want her to point out everybody. I want her to point out Mickey Mouse. I want her to put Minnie Mouse on trial. I want them motherfuckers to feel the fuck around. I want Goofy's ass exposed. I want Disney World exposed. Expose Disney World and expose your mama. Expose everything, bro. Even Walt Disney. What the fuck is he doing? He's dead there. He's not dead. They got him frozen somewhere, dude. They're going to unfreeze him when the Jews are gone. I was on Family Guy, okay? Family Guy, you know? Family Guy, South Park, all them cartoons, they're the ones that completed my mind. And man. You know, it's one thing that's cool. I was talking to my homeboy Skyler and uh, someone else that trains there. I ain't going to say their name, but like, because they don't know me that well or anything like that. But like, they're like talking about how bad video games were. And I was like, you know what? You guys are exactly, exactly right, dude. Like, fuck yeah. I don't sit around and play video games. No one wants to do that. I mean, I think, I don't know, it's a little off subject, but I was just thinking about that. I was like, man, I haven't played video games in so long, and I feel so good. So they're all fucking video games. I'm a fucking loser. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be out fucking doing things, man. Whooping ass. Having something to do. Keeping, my, keeping myself occupied. I won't fucking do that. You know, that's my problem. That's why I need to do day more things in life, man. Because I'm stupid, bro. Like, I am, I am not a smart person. A lot of y'all out there are the same way. And what I mean by that is that I'm like, I'm not trying to put myself down. But, like, I'm I'm not one of the people that's literally going to be like, you know, if I, I get bored, I'll, I'll get, up, get in trouble. Simple as that. So I always got to stay occupied. My mind doing something. That's why I do the podcast. That's why I do, you know, do little videos on. But I haven't done a video in a long time. In a week. You know, and I'm, I'm actually going to work with the video. And I'm also going to have Tyler Harp's so actually going to be starting one of my videos as well. So it's going to be a pretty, pretty cool video. I'm going to be pretty much poking fun at, like, all the weird people out there. All the fat people that get online and try to get everybody to feel sorry for them, you know, like myself. So, anyway, moving on, moving on. But, you no, know, I'm just saying about the British Spirit subject, man. I'm not saying she should have been, you know, still in a good service. You know, I'm just joking. I just think it's crazy how she lost her fucking mind, and I think there's some more deep, deep bullshit. Like, and I hope that documentary kind of shines light on deep, deep bullshit. She was hating on a lot though. Like that girl was hating on like pretty crazy. I remember that one time she shaved her head. I was actually living here. You know what I'm saying? I used to have a poster of her right there. You know, just, for real. I used to have a poster of Britney Spears. I had a poster of Britney Spears. So what, bro? She was hot. Of course, you have a poster of her. Just living there sleeping. My girlfriend out there. Yeah, I was sleeping. This, you know what this room is for. I was a teenager living in this little ass room. So you can imagine what I was doing in here, sneaking out this window too. But yeah, I was beating my meat to break spirit. Okay, there. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. And you know what? And I'm not gonna take it back. I'm not taking it back. I'm not taking nothing back. Fucking fat guy, and I, you know. But yeah, man. Come on, dude. Dude, I had like a fucking Red Bull, bro, and I'm just like, Ping! it's like 9 30 at night. <laughs> and plus, I'm excited about Jiu Jitsu, man. I'm so fucking excited. Man, because when you see them guys, dude, dude, and you're thinking, like, I'm going to be there one day. I think I can. Uh, I'm nervous. I, don't, I got doubts, bro. But like, I, I think it'd be fun, bro. I, I, I could be the next Joe Rogan, son. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm, I'm having, I'm, I'm, hopefully I have more fighters on the podcast as well. I, I've noticed the episodes with the fighter, all the fighters are always really good and stuff like that. And I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy the sport. You know, I enjoy watching it. I'm a, I'm a good spectator. I love spectating, you know, watching. And it's pretty fucking dope, dude. Anyway, although I know I'm off subject. I'm off subject. No, I'm off subject. I know it. So, right before I left Colleen, Fort Hood has changed its name. 
I mean, they think that maybe that's going to clear their bodies. Uh, General uh, Fort Cavazos, Cavazo, Cavazos. I don't fucking know. Anyway, changed name. Anyway, it was named after a, a Mexican American general, which um, was the first Mexican American actually hit that rank. History, I believe. And also, he's a bad motherfucker, apparently. And so, you know, also, so Fort Hood has finally changed his name to They say it's because they're tired of the Confederate names. I don't believe that's true. Okay? And let me tell you why I don't believe that is true. Because Fort Hood is known for its bodies. Ladies, you can't be like Fort Hood. You can't just change your name from Tiffany to Keisha and expect to guess what? All your bodies will disappear because, ladies, we all know you have a lot of bodies. Some of you ladies have more than enough. So we ladies have more than Fort Hood. But I've heard rumors about there in them fields, there's bodies buried. Every time a woman will come up and say, hey, I've been sexually assaulted, some douchebag will fucking get rid of her. Okay? Maybe instead of changing the fucking name of the fort, Fort Cavazas, Fort Hood, they're changing signs out there and everything. Just maybe you need to start looking into your ranks and looking into all the people that are doing that fucked up shit. Okay? Look, I don't believe that's right. I never will believe it's right. You know what I'm saying? I think that they did that to kind of distract the fact that, they, that they're that they out there doing fucked up shit. Distract the fact that every time a woman complains about being sexually harassed, she goes missing. They are trying to explain and expect the fact that all this is going on. At the same time, oh, let's change our name. Instead of this Confederate name we had so long. Because we all know them good old boys enjoyed that Confederate name. And no one give a fuck if it's Confederate. I mean, I know. I, I just think it's dumb. And I think it's another a way to distract it. You know, and I, I just don't think that. I just do not think it's right. But, you know, that's what's going on in Colleen, where I used to live. And a lot of other things go on, too. Like, you know, say I see them in Colleen all the time. But. Can we really say? Can we really say that it's a it's a pro it's a problem? Can we say it's a problem? Or is or is everybody just gonna like kind of forget about all the bodies and stuff? We're we gonna forget about all the bodies. I know, you know, you know, soldiers, and these are also for the ones that ain't been saying anything. You know, it's fucked up, and I think uh, literally, I know we get a little serious here in the podcast, but like, I, I think it's fucked up, and I think it's time for them to freaking stand up and freaking uh, put put their foot down and start fucking making a change. Maybe this name change might help make a change, but instead of changing the goddamn name, maybe. And I, I, I'm glad they changed the name because dude, some general fossils, bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He's one of my people. You know, Mexican American, and you know, it's one of the first to make that rank, and that is very, that's a very great honor. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I never met the man personally. I do admire people like that, bad motherfuckers. Like I said, that's a bad motherfuckers. Oh, it makes this world go round. Little do y'all like to admit it or not. You know what I'm saying? Bad motherfuckers that do things that step outside the box, do that do do the things standing up and fucking badass thing. Like all the bad motherfuckers I saw today, those are the kind of people make the world go around. Not some fucking douchebag. You know, do a fuck up to those people. Remember that. There's some douchebag that fucking smokes meth. Such a fuck up all I'm just saying. But you know, then that's that's crazy to me. And I think they, they should do a lot more than change the name. I think they should do a lot more. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. I hope they do. I really do. I hope they do because it's it's, it, it's terrible that you you can't even feel protected in the military. All the time. All I'm gonna say on that subject. But that, that's I thought that was freaking crazy how they changed the name of the, the bay. I think that's freaking crazy. But the world's going fucking insane, man. And um. We all just need to step up, I think. But I really do think that's crazy. I think it's the name of the base instead of, you know, doing more. Just instead of doing more. Instead of doing more. They shouldn't have changed the name of the base. They shouldn't have done more. Okay. I'm just fucking crazy today, man. Anyway, guys, um, sorry the podcast was so short. I'm hoping to have a better episode next week. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this whole, you know, I had to stop in the middle of everything. And I had to do my thing, man. I had to do my thing. Um, 
I'm hoping to um, have a, another episode next week. Uh, I do have uh, some people lined up to be on the podcast. You know, so I'm pretty excited about that. Actually, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about all that. I'm really excited to make new friends, and I'm really excited about having new people on the podcast. There is, um, oh, what else was I going to, oh, I know what I was going to talk about. I don't know what I was going to talk about. Israel Adesanya, you know, the UFC fighter, um, that motherfucker. Anyway, call him Izzy. His ex-girlfriend, Charlotte something, literally, I was I saw this earlier on YouTube. It was fucking hilarious. Bitch was with him for three years. They never got married. They never had kids. Never did anything. And literally, bro, she thinks she's entitled to half his money because she says she helped earn him that money. Of course, he fired back by saying, uh, you only fucking cost me money and you're a fucking brat. Which, you know, most women that are brats like that are the ones that are entitled to think that they deserve it. You know what I'm saying? So this man is trying to straight up top G top G didn't just like, fuck you. But she wants to take him to court. I think he's going to court with this case because He's deserves, she thinks she deserves more money. First of all, bro, that's why you don't date white women. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. I, don't, I, I, I fucked with plenty of white women in my past and learned that. But no, man, it's just like these women are entitled nowadays. You know, and I know like there's a lot of men we talk about women on podcasts. We think we know what we're talking about. Yada, yada, yada. But it's just like at the same time, it's like uh, this the, the entitledness of just the person that she's going to take a half of his money and he's on top right now. You know, you know, it's when you get on top, that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? And what I realize is in life, it's like, you have to be like Izzy, bro. You got to fight back. Because if you don't, what are you going to look like, bro? What are you going to look What are you gonna look like in the end if you let this person just run all over you? You know what I'm saying? Because they weren't married. So, but, but in New Zealand, where they're from, that is common law marriage. They've been together for over like another two or three years. You might have like some kind of ground to stand on, but it's like you're gonna take half of what this man has worked his ass off for, but all you did was ever cost him money. You know, because if you ever noticed, if it's a woman that actually helped him, she wouldn't have fucking ever did that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why you gotta watch out when you when you go for guys. You gotta go for somebody that's actually values himself and also value you. You know, and this person just trying to get rich. You know, that's a get rich scheme. She wants to live good. She don't want to work no more. She wants to live good. So why not take from your ex? Why not take from somebody that actually earned that money? The dude was in the fucking, in the octagon whooping ass. And then all of a sudden, you know, so we all saw his last fight. And the dude was in the octagon whooping fucking ass, bro. Like, you can't just sit there and uh, assume that, um, you just can't assume that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, that you're owed that. Bitch, you should have stayed with him. Bitch, you should have stayed with him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I helped him win this. He didn't help nothing. So, like, um, I think um, that's fucking crazy, man. That's just the craziness that's going on today in the world, man. I think I think a lot of crazy shit. So you got to watch your back, State Kings. You got to watch your back, today, son. Because they're trying to take everything. I got, man, I got millions of dollars. I got people up my ass all the time. Trying to take something from me. I don't have millions of dollars. I don't even have a dollar. But anyway, um, <laughs> I spent all my money on these $50,000 sunglasses. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's me. You know what I'm saying? I, that's what I do. But anyway, um, like you, you got to realize, like, you have no kids with this bitch. Now, if you carry my seed, you, you deserve something that I have. But if you don't carry my seed, what the fuck, bitch? No offense. Ain't how it goes down here. You better get on down the trail, boy. Yeah. Tell that bitch kick rocks, son. Tell that bitch kick rocks, cuz. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a great day, man. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Sorry it was so short. Sorry. Just wasn't in a ranting mood. You know what I'm saying? And um, next week's going to be hopefully be a better episode. I got a guest lined up. And um, hopefully I'll have another guest lined up, too. I really want to get this dude on. He's a bad motherfucker. No way, bro. But I make no promises right now. And, yeah. But I really can't wait. And I really can't wait to have, you know, get this next guest as well, great friend of mine, um, one of my closest brothers. I'm going to have him on as well. And, you know, I hope you guys do good, man. You know what I'm saying? Happy Friday. Have a great day. I hope you hope everything in life is going your way. And remember this, man. Follow me on TikTok at Diesel Hud 7 I think my just be 107. I'm not sure. Or look up Derek Ray Rivera. You know, um, also, 
if you love the podcast, Spotify, um, Spotify, um, go to, go to morning beer podcast, Spotify. Um, also if you love, and if you, you know what I'm saying, or if you want to watch it here on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, Rip Air Productions, that is my channel. That is where I'm live a lot. Um, I'm, I'm going to start doing more also TikTok lives as well. Guys, I know I've been talking about it. I know I've been talking. I need to get off my ass and just do it. You know, and I'm hoping to start the radio show on TikTok very, very fucking soon, guys. You guys have a great fucking day. And remember, man, keep it true to yourself, man. Keep it true to everybody. You know how we do it out here. Um, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys are good. I'm home, baby. I'm home. You know what I'm saying? I'm home. Marble Falls, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Kingsland, Texas. You know, Granite Shows, Cottonwood. You know what I'm saying? I'm home, guys. I'm hoping to... Hoping to make the best out of this. You know what I'm saying? I believe this next chapter is going to be pretty fun. Though. So, like I said, you guys have fun, man. You guys enjoy life. Be happy, man. Find the little things to be happy about. If there's nothing to be happy about in your life right now, you know what I do, bro? I find the little things. Like, I'm like, man, I had to go back in with my parents for now. In my life. But I'm like, man, I got my dog with me. You know? So I'm happy about that. And just little things like that makes you happy. My parents are actually willing to help me and stuff like that. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm happy about that and you get sued and then 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 there's you know what I'm saying, the podcast and there's comedy and there's just all this other stuff my, I could be next to my homeboy Skyler and then there's, there's a couple of streets. You know what I'm saying? I got all I got you know, I just I got a good community around me. I went with my brother yesterday, made made some easy cash. So uh y'all have some great fucking day, man. Enjoy. Enjoy your life, man. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Be thankful for everything around you, bro. Like I said, I'm out this morning.